I think we were all in the same boat today. We woke up and just felt that something was different, be it the coming of autumn or a new president in Afghanistan. Nope, George Clooney got married. Have you heard? You have? How? Could it be this or this or this or this or this? But yes, it is true. The Clune dog is now taken. Part two. And the lucky lady is a beautiful lawyer with the exotic name Amal Alamudin. And when it comes to Amal Alamudin, he did not spare any marital expense. It all happened in the romantic yet sometimes stinky city of Venice, Italy, where the couple celebrated at the Amman Canal Grand Hotel, a location that is known for being a seven star hotel. Seven stars. I didn't think that was possible for a hotel. But I guess when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars there all together, a place must adapt. But the details of the wedding are still a big secret. Luckily, I know a girl who knows a guy whose best friend's cousin's brother's uncle's former roommate's mechanic, dentist, knew a girl who was a caterer once who looked into the window while the wedding was happening. And what she saw will shock you. When guests arrived, instead of being split up into bride side and groom side, they were seated according to their pants size, slender up front, girthy in the back. Then they were handed small bottles filled with actual angel tears, which they drank, giving each guest everlasting youth. George then welcomed the crowd by singing White Snake while Amal descended upon them via aerial silk. They then recited their vows in Aramaic and then sealed their love with the human sacrifice of Bill Murray. Typical Clooney. But will this marriage last? I mean, one must consider George's dating history. There was Stacey Keebler, Kelly Preston, Lisa Snowden, Krista Allen, Sarah Larson, and that really pretty Italian model. Not to mention that interview I did with him a few years back that quickly became quite awkward. Mr. Clooney, let me start off by saying I am just a gigantic fan of yours. So did you enjoy making this movie? But there's still one question that everybody's asking themselves today. Now that George Clooney's off the market, who will be the next biggest eligible bachelor? You know George Clooney got married, right? Who is now the world's most eligible bachelor in your eyes? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper's a good one. Bradley Cooper single? Bradley Cooper single. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bradley Bradley Cooper. a little bit. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Prince Harry. Prince Harry, you like Prince Harry. Harry. Why do you like Prince Harry so much? He's kind of a ginger. George Clooney got married, you know this? Holy uh, I'll go with Aaron Rodgers. You like Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> DiCaprio. DiCaprio. DiCaprio is a good choice. So I think I speak for everybody when I say congratulations, George. We're happy for you. Maybe one day you'll have kids, perhaps a son. Although I think we all know what that'll look like. Love is like candy on a shelf. You want to taste and help yourself.